Welcome. And the question today from, you crash boom wham is, what do you like or what is a positive to wearing a face mask? Hi, this is Derek, I just put the drama llama, Fred, back in his llama pen, so that I can do this quick video for you with some of the stuff that Fred found on Reddit earlier today. Oh boy, let's get ready for some drama. Danila answered with, I always know when, my breath stinks. I never know when, your breath stinks. Laser Penguin followed up with, The flip side is no more worrying about my breath. It's kind of a paranoia of mine. I've asked girlfriends before about my breath. And all have sworn I don't but just can never shake this paranoia that my breath is bad. Masked up that paranoia is almost gone. I can constantly know if my breath is bad. And when I occasionally do have bad breath it's hidden with the mask. Now I'm fairly certain it's just a weird social anxiety I have. Purple Pineapple PJs followed up with. I feel this so hard. I worked in a strip club for many years that was very loud, as many nightclubs are. And so I would end up yelling back and forth with customers and the majority of them had bad breath from alcohol or food we served or lack of oral maintenance. And I've forever had anxiety around my own breath because of it. I hate anyone leaning in close to talk to me. Even cuddling with my partner in the mornings. Leafy Rebecca followed up with. Honestly, some mornings my breath is just festering coffee grounds. And I'm the only one who knows. Also, sometimes I catch my reflection and try to practice smiling with my eyes like a old school America's Next Top Model participant. Poen99 followed up with. It wasn't until I started wearing a mask that I realized how much my breath smells like coffee in the morning. It could definitely be worse, but it kinda surprised me. Chalins followed up with. Around the start of mask wearing, I went to a morning doctor's appointment. I was walking around the office just appalled at how the place smelled like poop. Did someone take a morning dump and not close the door? Like I'm here for 20 minutes and that's all I smell throughout the office. Nope, apparently I was in a rush when I brushed my teeth and had that good old morning breath. Good Lord Chalins. You know. I thought that was going a different direction. Next. Zilsich answered with. Covers two of my chins. Kitties are too cute followed up with. This is what my beard is for. Bagels and kegels followed up with. Over 50% of people can't grow one. Blob of sadness answered with. How it warms my face up in the cold, bit of a problem if it's humid though. Earth Girl 1983 followed up with. Whoa buddy! I did not think about how cozy and warm this winter shall be. Raging a hole followed up with. I wear a mask all day, but spend a decent amount of each workday inside an industrial freezer. The mask might warm your face at first, but it soon gets damp, then wet, then frozen to your face. It's not as nice as you might think. Skeptical. Empress Ultra Magnus answered with. I don't have to remove my upper lip hair as often now, since the mask covers it. I am the butter followed up with. I don't have to pluck my chin before going in public. Sisters unite. But Judge 69 followed up with. I don't have to separate my eyebrows as often now because nobody knows it's me under this caterpillar, devilish face. Hmm. You know, it seems like women are loving this mask thing. Go figure. Human Garbage answered with. I have no self-esteem and hiding my face is A+. Fake Orca Rape followed up with. I've been making weird facial expressions and nobody can tell. Also been trying to nail the perfect eye smile that makes it seem like I'm smiling but really just squinting. Frinko answered with. Went to the hairdressers the other day, and here you have to wear a mask throughout. I normally find staring at my face in a mirror for about 30 minutes both distressing and depressing, but only seeing the top half of my face was a huge improvement. 
Turns out I have quite nice eyes. Also was a great feeling having the last 6 months of hair growth chopped off. Deranger 14 followed up with. Yesterday at the grocery store, I was surprised when an attractive, younger lady showed interest in me. I thought for the briefest of moments that my past year of working out and dieting were paying off. Almost felt good about myself. Nope. All mask. Storm Dan C3 followed up with. I had a pretty spectacular breakout a few days back and it was totally invisible thanks to the mask. One good rib followed up with. I don't know but, my acne has actually been better since we had to start wearing masks. Sean HK answered with. I genuinely think I get more attention since more of my face is covered. Glassberg followed up with. Same, my teeth are effed and right now I can't afford to fix them. COVID is the first time in years I've felt confident in public. So found my other one followed up with. Some guy cat called me, I don't know if that's the correct word here, it was pretty polite, the other day when I had a mask on. He was like. Wow. You look stunning. Look at you girl. Beautiful. And I was like aw, smiling face with hearts. Then 20 minutes later I was finally like. Wait. That man could not see a single inch of my face. What am I wearing? Natty Light Murica followed up with. I effing aced a job interview because the mask made confidence so easy. TikTok thought answered with. I have a resting biatch face, now I don't have to actively smile or anything in public. I can just exist without people asking why I'm angry. Oh hey. Thank you for the awards friends. Pandem Chick followed up with. An old man still told me to smile the other day at work. The audacity. You don't know I'm not smiling under here. Rambo Sparkle answered with. I agree with all of the above. I did expect to enjoy that, but there is one other related but unexpected benefit that I found. I find myself more in tune with what actually makes me happy and laugh more genuinely now. I'm in a people forward, front door first employee type job. I love not having to mindlessly force a fake smile all day. Working in any capacity is hard right now. It's wonderful to not have to physically mime happiness 100% of the time and not be bothered about it. I don't know, I might keep it up, it's 100% SPF protection too. Salty Sirens followed up with. It's a free nose job. Pink Kitten Fur followed up with. It's smoky as F here in Washington. The mask keeps the smoke out, and I can mouth obscenities at idiots in public without them knowing. Divergence 75 followed up with. I enjoy not wearing makeup. You save so much time in your morning, or at least I do by not bothering with it. I'm also kind of a dress up person so I dig the masks. I wear them normally without COVID. Not much is different for me every day being Halloween and all. Aliyah Amber followed up with. No one can tell your lip syncing along to whatever music you're listening to. Not spreading a deadly virus is A plus too I suppose. Laughter House B followed up with. No bugs in my mouth while biking. Don't need to breathe weird to avoid them either. Prince of KK followed up with. You know that awkward moment when you see someone you know. But you don't really want to greet them. Then realize they don't recognize you. So you pass them by without even as much as a wave. Yeah that. Esoterica answered with. Creepy men don't tell me let me see that smile, sweetheart. I'd quote to put as my name followed up with. As a bartender who quit because of COVID, the masks just made those men weirder. I've seen multiple men tell girls to pull down their masks just for a second I wanna know what you look like under there. I had another creepy old man who told me every time he came in that he hopes I don't have to wear a mask long because he misses my smile. Now I feel like my mask is a second skirt that men are trying to lift up. Um. What? Perverts. 
Well, there you have it. A perfectly great question answered by a bunch of fine and honorable citizens. Help support this channel by smashing the like and subscribe buttons. And hit that silly little bell as well to ensure you get the latest videos as they come out. Fred is always finding stuff for me to post regularly. So this is Derek signing off. Thanks for watching. Good grief, it sounds like Fred is out of his pen again. I think he found more drama for me to share with you. See you soon.